हाय आय एम डॉक्टर रोहित डांबोर कन्सल्टंट ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन स्पेशलाइज्ड इन आर्थ्रोस्कोपी स्पॉट्स इंजरी एंड जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी आई एम वर्किंग एट सिटी प्लस हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद गुजरात टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट रोटेटर कफ टीयर एंड आर्थ्रोस्कोपिक सिंगल रो रिपेयर Rotator cuff is an anatomical term given to the group of muscle and their tendons. It is made up of four muscles: supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis muscle. Rotator cuff stabilizes the shoulder joint when bigger muscles like deltoid moves the joint. Rotator cuff tear occurs as a result of either a substantial injury to the shoulder or degenerative wear and tear of the tendon tissue. repetitive overhead activity or heavy lifting over a prolonged period may irritate or damage the tendon symptoms of rotator cuff tear are difficulty and pain in raising arm popping or clicking sounds or sensation when moving arm shoulder pain that worsens at night or when resting shoulder weakness and struggling in lifting items Rotator cuff tear diagnosed clinically by doing shoulder examination like active and passive range of motion painful arc drop arm sign full can test empty can test diagnosis is always confirmed by doing mri goal of the treatment of rotator cuff tear is to reduce pain and improve function several treatment options are there for a rotator cuff tear and The best option is different for every patient. In about 50% of patients, non-surgical treatment relieves pain and improves function, but shoulder strength does not improve without surgery. Options for conservative treatment are rest, activity modification, oral medication, physical therapy or steroid injection. continue pain and weakness in spite of conservative treatment is the main indication for surgery surgery is reattaching the tendon to the humerus head and this is done minimal invasive by arthroscopy my preferred technique for rotator cuff repair is arthroscopic single row rotator cuff repair and preferred position for arthroscopy is lateral decubitus First arthroscope is introduced in glenohumeral joint diagnostic arthroscopy done and if any pathology is there addressed first if biceps tendon is worn out or pulley is damaged i will do biceps stenodesis after that arthroscope is introduced in subacromial space adhesions implant bursa are removed if acromion spur is present or narrow subacromial space is there acromioplasty should be done after that assessment of rotator cuff tear is done if it is retracted medially mobilization of cuff done using radio frequency ablation prepare greater tuberosity by removing debris and making bleeding bone owl is inserted just lateral to articular margin I prefer double loaded pick or titanium anchor for cuff repair. One by one suture is passed at margin of torn tendon from anterior to posterior direction. Multiple devices like scorpion, lasso or bird beak suture retriever are used to pass suture. Number of anchors to be used depend on size of the tear. I used to take mattress suture knot tying is done by taking sliding knots from posterior to anterior direction post operatively operated arm kept in shoulder arm pouch passive range of motion started from next day of surgery start active assisted range of motion after 1 month and cuff muscle strengthening exercise should be started once near full active range of motion achieved full recovery depends upon quality of cuff muscle patient's compliance towards exercise acute tear recover fast whereas degenerative tear take longer time to recover time taken for full recovery varies from 3 to 6 months thank you